Hey, Mike. Hey, what? Disney has just announced their opening days. What are you going to do now? Plan a trip. I'm going to Disney World. I'm going to Disney World. Hey everybody, it's Amanda. It's Mike. And we are the, the High Street Disney. Disney. We are going to talk about our summer trip to Disney World today. Yay. So this trip we have had planned for since what, February? Yeah, a couple months now. We've had it it's planned been, out. It's been a while. Uh, we had it planned out pre-coronavirus. Yeah. Um, Pre-COVID-19, so it's like... With all the things going on, we've had to make some changes and some adjustments <laughs> and uh, kind of, I would say, I don't know how to say it, but like kind of going back and forth, are we going to go, we're not going to go, do we want to go this time, do we want to go here, where do we want to stay? So we booked the hotel back in February for my birthday weekend. Uh, my birthday is July 4th weekend, it's on the 5th, and I was super excited to go for my birthday because I went 10 years ago for my birthday and it was the first time I'd ever gone. I was really excited to go back for like a 10 year anniversary of that first trip and my birthday and all that kind of stuff. And then coronavirus happened and we still had the trip planned. I was super excited. And we, I guess we can say where we were booked at. We were booked at the boardwalk and I was so excited. It was gonna be just the two of us for four days of the boardwalk and we were going to re-up our annual passes and all this fun stuff and it was gonna be a great time. And then I think our 60 day fast pass window was May the 4th mm -hmm. for some reason. I think that's yeah. what it was. We had said that we would buy our annual passes before that because we would use them even if the parks didn't open and whatever. Yeah. So we were gonna buy our passes then, make the fast passes at the 60 days out, and then if the parks didn't open, we still had the passes. Uh, so we didn't do that. And then on the 27th, Disney announced their opening dates for Disney World, and we were super excited. We listened to that call live, and I was literally sitting at my desk like, focus, all right, deep breaths, happy thoughts. And then they announced their opening what, July 11th? July 11th for two parks and then all July four parks. 15th, yeah. All four parks by the 15th. And that does not go with July 4th weekend. So, I mean, I'm kind of bummed that it won't, we won't be there for my birthday. Like, it stinks. But prior to that, we had changed our hotel from staying at the boardwalk to staying at Pops because we were like, we need to save money in the middle of this pandemic. Like, I can't be shelling out an absurd the big amount bucks of money. for the big hotel. So we downgraded to Pops. We figured that if if all else failed and the parks weren't going to be open for a long time or they wouldn't be open by my birthday, we would just cancel, we'd get the deposit back, no big deal. If parks were open, we'd already have half of the hotel paid for. We'd yeah. only have to put up $400 extra, which sounds a lot better financially for us right now. So then right after they announced that they were opening up 11th and the 15th of July, I looked at Mike and said, so should we cancel our trip? Should we rebook it for after that time? And so we did. Um, Which one did we do? We rebooked it. Okay. So we rebooked the trip. I kept the same days. We were originally going a Friday through Tuesday. I kept the same Friday to Tuesday days. So for right now, we have a trip booked for July 17th through the 21st, which feels really crazy really weird it feels really weird that we will be going or we have a trip planned i guess to go to disney really their first opening weekend yeah of their full four parks open but there's obviously a bunch of precautions that disney's taking you have to wear masks you have to be temperature checked hand sanitizing stations all around the parks etc but they are doing a reservation system to actually get into the parks and they are going to start making those reservations for people that have either a pre-existing stay and tickets booked or for annual pass holders. We aren't either of those. So... Yeah, we gotta figure out. I'm not really sure where we're gonna fall on that because you can't buy tickets right now at all until they've kind of figured this out. You can't buy tickets. We could buy annual passes, but again, that's a lot of money that we're not sure if we're gonna be able to shell up right now. There's 
a whole bunch of different reasons why we wouldn't get annual passes, but there's also a bunch of reasons we would. So those we can buy right now. It's hard. So as of right now, we only have a hotel stay. And as of right now, I guess we aren't going into the parks. Yeah, so we've kind of decided, have determined whether we're going to get into the parks or not. Uh, do we just go down and just hang out and just enjoy the time being in, at Disney? At Disney uh, and just hold, hang out at the, at the resort. Which, by the uh, way, we changed the we third changed time. Our, our, the third time to our, our favorite resort, which is French Quarter. French Quarter. Yeah. So at least we'll have a nice place to hang out, and it's beautiful and it's quiet and calm, and we can, you know, hop on the boat to Disney Springs if we need to, because we know that'll be open. We don't have to have reservations on there. Yeah. It'd be kind of weird to go on a Disney trip and not go to Disney. Yeah. <laughs> I think um, a couple of really important things to kind of put out there is we will be renting a car when we go down just so that we don't have to rely on Disney transportation and being in close quarters with people if we do go to the parks. Yeah. Um, or even on the Magical Express because thinking about previous trips, I mean, obviously they'll be running at a smaller capacity, but thinking about sharing a bus in this pandemic with all of us wearing masks at the end of the night, they're going to make you sit every other row on a bus. I just, I don't see how their bus system is going to work well to begin with and I don't really want to be there the first weekend yeah, that they're testing it. It, all depends, it also depends on capacity too so the capacity is not very high people staying then your bus loads are not going to be very high and it'll be it won't be too bad but yeah. if it's going to be a crowded bunch of people trying to get in right. then which is most likely what's going to be then it's going to be a, how you're going to manage buses so we figured we would just rent a car um so we actually have transportation on our own and then you know, a little bit extra walking, but who cares? It's yeah. Disney and it's fine with walking because it's all day anyways. Yeah, so we'll be doing that. Um, and we chose to stay at French Quarter so that if we didn't go to the parks, we were staying at a, a hotel that we absolutely love. Like, it's our favorite hotel. They have fantastic food. It's small enough that, like, even with people around, there's not really that many people around. And we can walk that whole walkway. And there's just so much to do. I mean, there's not, like, a ton of, like, recreational things to do. But there's enough to do there that if we didn't go to the parks, it would still be a nice vacation yeah, for us. Yeah, we'd just sit around and eat beignets all day. And just Literally what I would do. be totally bloated with, with beignet dough in our bellies and covered in powdered sugar. Yeah. You will and not be doing Whole30 if we go. Nah. No, I'll be doing whole beignets. So those are kind of the things that Disney is doing and we're kind of doing to keep ourselves safe. It will only be the two of us going if we do go. And also if we rent a car, that kind of gives us a chance to explore the area more where we can... Maybe go to Universal, yeah, or at least Universal. go to City Walk. Yeah. Um, City Walk. Maybe just do a day in Universal if we can't get into the parks. At least we have some opportunity to go to some sort of theme park. Yeah. Um, so it just gives us an opportunity to do something. I think either way, we're gonna. It's, it'd be nice to get away. Hopefully, we can get a, a, a non-crowded flight because I know they're starting to pick back up for flights, but nothing's still. Nobody's making major transportation. So yeah, and our flights still business. Yeah, our flights that I've been looking at um, because we live in New Hampshire. We either fly out of Boston or we fly out of Manchester, and Manchester's direct flights to Southwest are cheap right now. Ridiculously yeah. well for the for the for area. The, for the area, so compared to cheap. Boston, they're still a good deal, and it's a lot closer to us to go to Manchester than it is to go to Boston. So yeah, um, it'd be an easier flight out and it's a direct flight, and we like Southwest anyways. It's hard because I mean, for me, I haven't been in a grocery store since all this started. I've gone into Target once for a pickup order and that's it like i haven't been out and exposed i know mike has been doing all of our shopping and stuff for us so it'll kind of be crazy that i haven't gone out <laughs> since mid-march and kind of the first thing i'm doing is going to disney we would not go and fly down and go to the parks and stuff if we didn't feel comfortable or think that it wasn't a good idea. Things could change in the next month and we could cancel this trip altogether. That's kind of the gist of all of this, is that this is really just a plan. Disney announced their July 15th or July 11th opening. That could change, we don't know. Yeah. Um, maybe they'll make it earlier, they could make it later, depending on what goes on, you know. Yeah, they might say that only people that are Florida residents can. Yeah, we don't know yet, so. We, we, don't, we don't know, but we wanted to have our trip kind of prepared so that if, we can go. We can. I know everybody's probably all restless from being cooped up at home and all you, all the Disney heads are, and all the Disney fans are like itching to get into the park because it's just, it's that level of um, stress release that people need. Yeah. 
I think Disney is a great stress relief program. It uh, costs <laughs> a lot of money. Maybe stressful putting it to handing out the money to your pocket, but once you're there, it's like the most relaxing yeah. place. Like I feel so much better just being there. Yeah. So the other thing too is that Disney isn't going to be doing any of their fireworks or parades or character meet and greets. So it's pretty much just going to be rides. I'm fine just walking and out just, park. And just, and yeah. Ride. Again, we would go down and just stay at our hotel, so that doesn't bother us not being able to meet a character. I don't know. I have such mixed feelings because. I think honestly, I think for me the experience will be worth it because we'll be able to see what the aftermath and what Disney's done. I think it'll be exciting to see the. For me, it's exciting to see what they're doing and how it plays out in their day-to-day -day routines of running a theme park because. Yeah. While I think coronavirus is a scary, or COVID-19, because it's multiple coronaviruses, um, COVID-19 is a very scary thing and it's, it's very unknown. Are we overhyping it? Is there a lot of fear? Are we being overly cautious? Like, I don't have a problem with people being overly cautious or overly fearful. I just think it's better to be safe than sorry. So let's just yeah. see how that works out. How does Disney preparing themselves? How is it? Is it actually going to work out? Are you going to have angry... Um, people staying there um oh absolutely you're gonna have people that are gonna go uh, is there gonna be a lot of unrulies that are just like well this is ridiculous like i i, I yep. think some things are overly done but you know i'm still abiding by the rules and then you know i think i think maybe your thing we go down there and do some filming and maybe kind of show what's going on I oh, think maybe that would be our yeah. our big takeaway is kind of showing you know i think there'll be a lot of that anyways but from our viewers here and you guys watching how it, how it actually is affecting like how the park is running with us or with it being open after you know the COVID-19 and everything like that. Once all of this is all done and you know we don't have to wear masks all the time it'll kind of be like with the birthday cake uh, castle where it'll be like we'll look back and all of our pictures are going to have us wearing masks. I think we'll probably be able to take it, our masks down to take pictures because I don't think they'll make anybody do that but that's something we're going to have to see like can we take yeah. our mask out to take a picture because I want to see a smiling face not a uh, purr. Uh, but also so. if we do have to wear our masks then it's kind of like it kind of like this is the season that we're in. So, you know, so 10 I, years ago, I was wearing three tank tops and booty shorts, and that's the season that I was in at that point. You know, four years ago, we or four years ago, wow, six years ago when we were married, you know, we had to wear matching shirts that had, you know, just married on the back. That's the season that we're in, you know. Yeah. Now, you know, we have to wear face masks. It's all good. Uh, so yeah. the big things, too, is what I'd like to actually, if anybody who's watching this video, um, attended Disney very soon after uh, September 11th. Like, I would love to have your input on what it was like down there because I think it's gonna be very similar. I mean, different circumstances, obviously terrorism versus um, uh, an illness uh, or a, what do you call it, an outbreak. But I think the fear and the preparedness of the park to open up like that would be something I'd love to hear somebody's, you know, viewpoint of what you saw and why that kind of yeah. thing. So if you like that, definitely reach out to us and let us know so we can kind of like, compare the two um yeah because i think that you're going to have a lot of locals that obviously are used to going to the parks all the mm -hmm. time that are going to want to go back but for us living in new hampshire or other people living outside of florida or in that close area you know people aren't comfortable traveling yet so yeah it's the same thing with supposed september 11th uh, i know you were a lot younger than i am but yep um i have people that I work with that actually did go down to Disney right after it, September 11th and said it was, it, was, it was deserted and they had a great time because there was nobody around because people are fearful of traveling and fearful of being in large groups. Yeah. Is it the same thing that's going to be with COVID-19? Um, people being afraid of being in large groups and that kind of stuff. So we'll see. So I guess really the uh, takeaway from this video is that we've rescheduled our trip. We've changed our hotel three different times. And as of right now, we will be going to Florida in the middle of July, wearing face masks, dying mm. in the heat. We are at 160 followers, I think. We are getting wow. close to that 200 mark. That's when we're going to do another giveaway. I know we did one at 50 where we gave away a pin. 200 seems really big to me. Like well, That's a lot. So I think we're going to have to start doing some shopping and getting some stuff together for a... 200 subscriber giveaway. We just are super appreciative of all of your support and like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.